How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is going to be breaking down my best offensive tips for you guys, right? So what I see in the offensive zone, this is going to be centered around offense, all right? So I definitely plan to make a one, another one on power plays, uh, penalty kills, uh, definitely defense. Defense I'm a little not amazing at, it's the only thing. I mean, I'm better at defense than most people, of course, but defense is really hard to play this year. I'm going to be real, be real with you guys, it's very hard. So uh, I'm going to give you my best, best, best thoughts here and uh, hopefully... Uh, it just it helps. I mean, hopefully it help you guys out if I can help one or two people, you know, that makes it makes me feel good, right? So um, We're gonna get into this right now and uh, hopefully again, it really helps, right? So we're gonna break down each thing I'm gonna say what I see all right So starting off with this one, right? So what I do a lot for my zone entries I'm pretty much giving you guys a blueprint how, blueprint how to defend me I guess I mean so if you're uh, watching this and you're like, oh, I play you Henrik a lot. Well, you have a lot more success, all right? so Okay, so I skate usually to the left side to the left boards. That's usually how I, I make my zone entries I usually try to go up the left side So I, I go to the left side I, I turn towards the board usually and I wait for for help so right there I waited I waited enough so Mozzie backed off as you can see he backed off He's like wait, what's this guy doing right? So then I have Lafleur. I'm starting to try to look at the ice now still looking still looking He's back backing away right now. There's no pass open, right? Well, I guess to bark off is possible I, I, I could go to Barkov here, Barkov across the potentially uh, over here, Koivu, I believe it says. But listen, it's not a guarantee, it's not a guarantee that gets through, right? So, what I did, I decided to get towards the slot, it's a high percentage opportunity. Now, what you guys need to understand right now is, uh, if you can see, this part of the net is wide open, okay? So basically, what I'm seeing right here is a nuke shot opportunity. So, the best way to score uh, this way is do a nuke shot right there. So. Uh, my guy actually jumped. It's kind of like a screen as well at the same time. Um, it's a nuke shot that goes in actually quite often, guys. I really have to admit, it goes in quite often. Uh, I think it's a very beneficial way uh, to score in this game. So, I mean, he gives you that wide open shot in the slot. Try to go low blocker. Low blocker works a lot. Very easy with righties. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's it's really it, it's a very important shot to know the nuke shot so here's another one like just low blocker and it goes in it's very hard for the goalie to stop especially with a Gila Fleur card I mean that card's gonna just make no mistake about it more times than not right so uh yeah I mean it's a high percentage shot and it's just gonna be a shot that's gonna go in more times than not so here's another one so I'm gonna get poked there with Dowdy all right so pretty much what I'm, I'm gonna point out point out again right now uh is Dowdy's poke okay so here's what we got all right so right now I see is a puck right there's no way to make, for me to get it with this player, right? So, I understand Dowdy's here. It's a risky play. It can be a risky play because if I switch to Dowdy and I miss the poke, it's probably a two-on-one the other way, maybe three-on-one. But, switch to Dowdy, make that poke very aggressive, and look at that. We're back in the zone, and we got a man cut, cut into the net. That's Barkov. It's like a three-on, potentially one down low as well. So, I mean, that's another very important thing to see. I'm waiting, and I, I look for my options, okay? So, what's open? Technically, the pass across to Barkov could be open, right? But it's kind of a forest pass. Open right here is number 11. It's uh, Saku Koivu. But what I do is I wait, wait, and I find Koivu, okay? So Koivu is still open. So right now is another opportunity. What do I do? Where do I go with it? I'm going to wait, wait, wait. There's nothing there. So, I mean, you got to just be patient sometimes, you know? Be patient with what is being given. I I'm not really 100% uh, with Koivu just, like, rushing it. So I have Dowdy. I drive back to Koivu. Koivu waits, waits, waits. And, you know, that, that's just a patience. That's a patience. We, we eventually drew a penalty. And, uh, you know, that's really what it comes down to. So here's what I want to break down is a power play, actually. So for me, power plays, the most simple thing that I like to do, I mean, this is just for offensive zone draws in general. Win it straight back to your defenseman here, and then go across to the, to the winger, and usually it's safe, and it's just usually going to go in. So that's honestly one of my best suggestions to you guys, uh, is to do that, right? So as you can see, it almost worked there. It's a high percentage shot right there. But it didn't go in. Listen, personally, I think it's a very, very beneficial way to play offense. So, um, we're going to try it again. Another face-off. What is a very good thing to do is to try to win it straight back. You get to Heiskanen, walk down low, kind of LT, wait, look for options, look for options. There's nothing available. Find Lemieux. But again, in the slot where there's just traffic, not really anything too open there, unfortunately. He's going to get the Subban. And he's going to get it right here. This is more of just, you know, some defensive penalty kill work here. Oh, sorry, power play work, but defensively. Uh, right now, he's just dealing with it. He's dealing with it. He's going to actually go outside the zone. But, listen, guys. 
On your power play, don't get running around, but make sure you don't just let them dance and waste your power play as well, because that's could be very frustrating as well. So, still got 52 seconds on the power play. We want to get something going, so win it straight back. Go up the boards uh, to Barkov. Barkov gets poked off a stick, but we're still fine. We're resetting. Dowdy into the zone. I have a man. Dowdy right now. I'm thinking about doing a nuke shot, but there was, it would have been blocked 100%. It would have been shocked. Blocked 100%. And I'm gonna drop it for Corvu back to Heisken. Another great shot there, but it won't go. All right, so here's another one. He's trying to get out of the zone. Trying to get out of the zone, and he doesn't really get it out though. I get a poke there late, last second. Power play's just about to end. Lafleur with it though. Lafleur, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I find Corvu down over Barkov back to Lafleur. So basically, what I'm I'm gonna show you what I saw here. Okay, so I have Lafleur right here, obviously. So Lafleur, I'm trying to figure out. I mean, I know Doubt is open right here. Nothing else is really open though. But if I wait, I wait. And then he became open there. Corvo became open. And there's a man down low because his defenseman is behind the net for some reason. I'm not sure if he was selecting him before there. Uh, but then I get it down low to Barkov. And this is kind of a tough one. A little bit unlucky for him as well. I mean, I'm literally, he's on top of my little flurry. But that's the thing about this game. Sometimes you're going to get, you know, reward for passes that maybe you don't think you deserve to get rewarded for, right? So I get to the flurry and he scores uh, to make it 2 nothing there. It's just. Quick passing, it really goes a long way in the offensive zone uh, because it's going to make them very confused. And, and, and for someone that's like average or maybe below average, I mean, they can't really defend it. They just, they just don't know what to do. I mean, listen, it's very hard to play defense. So here we go again. Right now it's a 2 2 game. Again, offense, you know, that's where I'm, I'm good at. Crosby gets it though. Crosby up to Heiskanen. We got some numbers here. Heiskanen ice skate all the way down the zone. I try to force it across and I do get to Cap to Gabrick. Again, that's, that's not really a fun goal to score, but it's obviously very effective. Just forcing the puck across. It does seem to work quite often. And again, I don't like it. I don't like scoring goals like that. But I mean, it, it just happens. So here we go. Another one. I skate down the right board. I turn it over. I try to hit the slot, man. Uh, but here's Carlson right now. Up to again, I got. I go into the boards. As, I've, as, as I said before, I go into those left boards and I hug those boards. Because it really makes them back off. And, and then it really opens up more. So I got a Gindler right here. I'm waiting. I find Dowdy. Dowdy again. Still trying to look for more options. Dowdy. There's nothing here. Nothing here. Back to Coffee, who's wide open. Coffee waits. Back to Dowdy. There's the only player that's open. Dowdy. Still. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Sagan's open. Still. Really. Where am I going right now? Gotta be patient. Back to Dowdy. Who's wide open? Take advantage of who's open for you guys. Always choose who's open. Dowdy. Wait. Wait. Back to Sagan. Who's wide open? Again. Just. There's nothing wrong with. Guys, never feel like, okay, there's definitely times you have to shoot the puck. Just shoot, just shoot, just shoot. Don't get me wrong. But don't just force a shot on that because, oh, I haven't shot in a while. I haven't shot in a while. Find that right play and be comfortable. Be comfortable with that play. Be comfortable with that play uh, because at the end of the day, uh, if you're not comfortable with that play, I mean, you're just not gonna, you're not gonna get what you want, uh, done. You're just not gonna get what you want done. And, uh, 100%, the most important thing, uh, is to find the open men. So here we go again, Gabrick. Again, Gabrick, but I make a quick pass. I know my Sagan's right behind me. I was able to make that pass to Sagan. I look for a down low Gabrick. A little bit of a forced play, though. But we saw it with Gabrick. Time's running out. Eight seconds, though. I'm still waiting, still waiting. Gabrick, Gabrick, wait, wait, wait. Open man Sagan, Sagan, looking for Aginla, but he was tied up. Aginla, one more pa pass, Gabrick, scores. Guys, possession, 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 possession. It's very important. It's very, very important. I can't stress it enough. Um, just having the puck in the O zone, you control so much of the play. He has to eventually, he might be like, oh, I'm, I'm getting bored. Maybe I'll try to just spam poke, take a penalty, get a power play out of it. There's just so many different things. So here's LaFleur is burning by, obviously, with the speed for Matthews, a shot that gets gloved away, but LaFleur picks it up. LaFleur picks it up. I find the open man Dowdy for LaFleur, wide open. Plays like that, you gotta really look for as well, guys. So for a play like that, all right, that gets blocked. Right, save, sorry. So I get to LaFleur and I find the open man Dowdy, right? Pass it right to Dowdy. LaFleur drives right to the net. These are because of my strats, too, as well. My strats are definitely an impact. I can also show my strats again as well, uh, if you guys wanna see. Um, it, it really just depends. I mean, it just it just depends on the style you're playing. I mean, for me, uh, I run behind the net, right? So behind the net is usually what I what I'm rocking. Um, my shots haven't really changed in quite some time, but again, you have the you have the man driving the net, Lafleur, and it's easy. It's just simply easy money. It really is. So Lafleur drives the net, gets the goal for us, and uh, I mean that's just you know simply good possession being rewarded. So. Here comes Corvu skating up the right board. I lost the puck against the board somehow there. I'm not sure what happened there. But again, quick poke in the neutral zone to Lafleur. I got Barkov right now. Barkov with a quick, unbelievable spinorama. Now, that's another thing I want to tell you guys to implement into your game if you can offensively. 
Uh, spin arounds are very, very, very uh, overpowered in my opinion, right? So, right here, you're like, wait, how do I get the how do I get the pass across? This is a little bit lucky. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit a little bit lucky. Maybe not a little bit, very lucky actually. But in general, spin aramas are very good. That's why I wanted to really show this clip because spin aramas are beneficial. Uh, and I did this and I did a spin arama and it actually got through. It was actually a perfect pass to Lafleur. I know this point we're also gonna win. We're up six two here in the third, but. Um, I think it's a very, very uh, effective way to play. I suggest, you know what I really suggest as well, guys? I suggest doing spinoramas like in the neutral zone. Because when you do, do the neutral zone, they really back off. So here we go. Uh, we're, we're going back to the point. High skin in for Carlson. A quick shot on that's not going to hurt anybody. It got blocked though. Crosby for Matthews. Back to the high point. To high skin in. Looking for more passing. Carlson. I try to find the man there, but he was covered. Crosby to Lemieux. Down to Matthews. Okay. I know it happened very quick. Again, I even stumbled over my words a little bit because it happened so quick. But, listen. Look for the open man, guys. Don't just flick up and shoot right away. I mean, listen. It might work for some of your game styles. I'm not going to lie. It definitely could work for some of your styles. But I just don't think it's a good idea to get into the habit of just shooting everything you get, right? Personally. That, that's just my opinion, at least. All right? So, here we go. Add that, that's the goal yet again. It's just a, a quick passing play. You just keep finding the open person, and then eventually you just gotta shoot. I mean, sometimes the shot's gonna just be wide open. It's gonna be like, all right, just gotta shoot. I mean, sometimes you just kind of, you know, when it's time to just shoot, right? So, um, that's all I can really say about that. Uh, just simply finding the wide open players, and eventually you get a, a great opportunity. All right, so here we go again. Skate towards the left boards. Find Lafleur. Uh, I was looking for another man there, but Barkov down for Corbu. A beautiful shot there. A little bit lucky, but. My point being, again, guys, what did I do? I found the open man. Guys, I found the open man. As a l People always ask me, how do I do those behind-the-back passes? Listen, I just hold it forehand. So let's just, l l let me see if I can show it again. So Barkov, I'm, I'm holding it that way, and I just I just literally flick behind my stick. Like, I, like how it looks is what I do with my controller. You know what I mean? So that's how that goal uh, goes in. And, uh, yeah, I mean... As you guys can see, in a lot of these clips, I've given up a lot of goals as well, because defense is not my main thing, to say the least, guys. Not my main thing at all. So, um, yeah, we grind. So, here we go. We're down one uh, at this point, which is no big deal. We're still in it. Minute. All right. Now, here's a goal right here. That's simply... Somebody all right. First of all, look at my poke. I mean, you guys. Being aggressive and putting pressure on the defense is very important. Well, that was actually more lucky. He passed it into my AI, but I was controlling Lafleur, and I just skated it right up the gut. Now, another thing when it comes to breakaways, guys, my biggest tip for breakaways, if you don't have enough time to do the Datsuk flip, which is, you know, to me, one of the best ways to score, I mean, hold forehand and go backhand forehand. So I, I held forehand, and then I went to the backhand to the forehand. It goes in so, so much of the time. Uh, to me, it's it's one of the best ways to score on breakaways. Absolutely. It just really is. Um, it's uh, To me, it's my go-to uh, if I don't have a Datsuk flip, and it depends on the situation. If I'm down in the game, I probably am not going to go for a Datsuk flip, but, you know, it depends. So here's Belvo doing a little spin around. I'm looking for that cross size pass. You'll see that later on in the video. That, how I implement that in my game as well. Doing the spin around passes are very important. So here's Belvo. Uh, he's, you know, I'm, I'm hanging on to it here. Belvo to Solani. Across to Lindros. Uh, you know, you don't go up on the play. Again. It's about putting pressure on him. So Belvo right now, he made a good poke there, but I'm sticking with it. So my, what I see here is I have the puck, right? And I know I can't get to Solani. I mean, well, I can get to Solani, but it's not going to be a shot that I want to take. Like, right now, if I get to Solani, that's a low-quality shot. But, I'm fortunate that Lindros is backing up, opening up for a one-timer opportunity, right? So, he went for a one-timer, and he's absolutely blasted home, right? So, uh, that was a perfect play right there. Uh, Lindros buries it, and uh, it was just perfect. So, I skate down the wing here. I do a nice little back skating over Lafleur. Okay. Now, this is, again, another one that's going to be hard probably to understand. How did you just do that, Henrik? How did you just do that? Okay, so right now he's controlling that guy. So what's the point of, you know, well, uh, there's no pass. I, I can't pass it to him. If it passes to Koivu, it's getting intercepted 100%. Or it's going to be like a lucky force maybe. So let me just let me just try to go back to it again, all right? So I skated up the wing, all right? I skate up the wing, which is great and everything, all right? But there's nothing open. He's not, he, made, he looked for that poke, but it, what he needs to do right now is switch to him and go for a hit or a poke. Because at that point, he's giving me the whole slot. Because I can just do whatever I want. Until he switches, there's just nothing he can do right there. There's nothing he can do. So, I know my Lafleur is going to cut. This is a little bit lucky, that pass. Don't get me wrong. 
but the problem is he's selected on that pl that player behind here. Oh, sorry, this player above here. He needs to be selected on this player behind to potentially get that intercept. Otherwise, getting across, the first bearing it, and we got the fifth goal of the game. I mean, it's just very, very important to learn how to backskate. Doing that backskating is very, very important, very, very uh, helpful, I would say, for you guys. All right, so there you go. And now, we know we're, we're, again, towards the, po the post again, Belovo. I mean, that's just a simple play again. I make a few stick handles to kind of avoid poke, uh, poke checks there, though. Uh, but as you can see right here, l let me just go over it again. So I get to Belovo, right? Belovo. I mean, I can easily kind of just keep going straight, maybe do a backhand forehand goal. There's a, a few different things you could do on this play. Like, you could take it to the net and go backhand forehand, like hold the forehand, backhand forehand. Uh, but I personally think waiting for the man cutting is the most, probably the best one. So he, he switched to Housley. But what he did was he went to go poke instead of switching over to cover Lindros. At this point, the only thing... Because honestly, his AI got back and covered Belovo, so it would have been hard to do the backhand forehand goal. But he, he he aggressively came up to challenge. So Lindros is a free path to the net. It's an easy goal. It's an easy goal for Lindros. Uh, and it's going to just be a, an easy goal for our sixth goal of the game. Okay. So here we go again. Uh, time's running out. Five seconds left. Need to make something happen quick. Against the boards, that's a kind of a, a just a wide open play. I mean, it's just a wide open play. You got to make sure you're looking to see if there's players that are open there. Okay, so again, there's time. Time's running out. At this point, I can I can try to get maybe a quick shot off, but he's wide open. He is selected to Lafleur. He needs to be selected to uh, either that defenseman or this player over here. I'm not sure if it's a defenseman or not. I believe it's a defenseman because I think that's Gretzky, that's Lafleur, that's Lemieux. So it has to be a defenseman. But he's not like right now. Or, or he should have switched to this player. He could have got an intercept there. So that's why, you know, he didn't get the intercept. That's why I ended up in the back of the net. And I was going to continue to have major defensive issues, to say the least. Uh, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, so up 7-3 right now. I'm holding against the boards. And, again, he's backing off because he has to respect it, guys. He has to respect me because he's been playing. Like, it's the same guy I've been playing for most of this. So right now with Lemieux, I get it. I hold against the boards, and they start skating back because he thinks maybe he's going to do a move. I don't, don't want to trip him, right? I don't want to trip him. So then I, I I hold back, and then I find the open man, Sagan. Sagan for Koivu. At this point, a couple things I could do. I could take a shot, which I did, and it gets blocked. All right, so we're sticking with it. Lemieux with it. So at this point, we have Sagan wide open, okay? So Sagan's wide open, and I understand, you know what? It's very hard. And again, his problem again, guys, he needs to switch on to this defenseman. If you switch on to that defenseman, you're able to intercept that. Otherwise, Sagan's wide open in the slide. He's going to bury it. Of course, the wide open one-timer. Those go in every time. It's Angel 21. We know one-timers are going to go in. So that's on him. He's going to defend that properly. And that's uh, just simply 100% on him. So here's Lemieux skating towards the left side. All right? Again, just looking for options. Looking for options. Wide open Crosby. Side of the net. Listen. You got to... It comes out that some people just don't know how to play defense. And look, I'm not... Again, I'm not good at defense. I'm not trying to claim I am. But you have to understand what you're doing wrong. So this guy, again, he's on the forward right now. He's not switching on his defenseman. Crosby's side, side of the net, wide open at the at the end post. It's an easy, easy pass across. Easy pass. Uh, it's just 100%. just simply an easy pass for Crosby. He's going to bury it every single time, guys. It's just it's just not hard. It's just not hard. So here we go. On to another game now. Uh, and I have Lemieux. So I'm skating up the middle. He just, you know, I try, I try to look for a pass. Get it down low. But I have high skin inside of the net. Lafleur, easy one nothing goal. Okay. So to break down what happened here is, I kind of got a little lucky. I didn't mean to really sell pass it there. It kind of worked out. But at this point, once I get it back, I know I have Heiskin in. Heiskin's wide open. He hasn't switched to his defenseman. Okay, he does, but he pokes, guys. It's not a bad play, but he's got he's to nail that poke. But I pass it quick enough to avoid that poke. And then LaFleur's wide open for a backdoor at that point. So he needs to poke that. But again, wide open, guys. He's there. Not many people are going to be able to defend that. Again, if you're in like D... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. What you're seeing, these plays, people aren't going to be able to defend for the most part. Like, they just won't. Like, I mean, it's not easy to defend these plays. Like, at all. At all, it's not. So, I mean, it's just patience to high skin in. But I made that pass fairly quick, so he couldn't get that poke and all that. So, all right, so there was just an icing right there that happened. So here's another face-off play. As, as I've gone over, guys, to me, winning this straight back is very beneficial for a one-timer goal. Across the Dowdy, over to Sagan, and he buries it. Okay, so face-offs, important. Ozone ones especially. I really recommend, if they're going sick with, if you're able to win it straight back, keep winning it straight back, and make sure you do this play, because it is money. Money, money, money. It goes in so, so much. 
Uh, it's very, very, very efficient. Uh, and I think you guys really should should get on it. If you if you don't know how to do that play already, definitely start doing it because it's a very, very good one. Very, very good one. Works almost 100% of the time. Unless your guy misses a net or gets an unbelievable save again. So, all right, so we're on the power play right now. Uh, we got one something left on it. So about one, maybe 120. I keep with the left boards, as I said before. For Lindros, wait, wait, wait. For Gretzky, score. A little bit of a force. Don't get me wrong. But as I've said before, guys, with the flirt, what do I do right here? What do I do? Wait, wait, wait. Hold against the boards. He goes flying. And then Lindros cuts. Gretzky, side of the net, score. Listen, I know it looks, like, I know I make it look easier than it is. It's definitely not easy. I'm not saying it's simple. It's not simple at all. I understand. But, uh, again, I try to skate him with the, the post, sorry, the, the boards there. Again, he just becomes wide open, Duchesne. Wide open there, side of the net, uh, because I'm just driving down the side. So, here we go again. I, I, I drove in. He turned it over. Okay, I read that very, very well. I switched to Kobertar to intercept that. So, I was kind of lucky on my part. And then at that point, he's, he's still on Lindholm, still on Lindholm, still on Lindholm. Makes that poke. It's At that point, Carlson, you can't trust your AI right there. You can't trust your AI. And, that, and, then, and then, you know, unless you guys did an AI pickup, that's that's getting across. And it's going to be in the net. It's just going to be in. There's just nothing you can do about that, unfortunately, for this guy. But fortunately for you, if you're playing offense uh, and all that, I mean, you're definitely liking that, to say the least. All right. So uh, we're up three at this point. We have Lemieux right now. Getting it to Matthews. Nice, uh, you know, zone actually there for Lemieux. Back to Matthews. Give and goes are very, very, very successful as well in this game. So we got a nice little zone entry with uh, Lemieux to Matthews. They gave each other the puck a couple times. So Lemieux got to Matthews. Matthews, I skated into the zone. At this point, I know Lemieux's wide open. So there's a few things I could do with Lemieux technically. If I really want to, uh, so we're going to go back to Lemieux. I could technically probably hold forehand and try to shoot right side because it's it's open. It's open right now. Is it going to 100% stay open the whole time? Probably not. But that's why he's on Lindholm. If you switch back to maybe, it's probably impossible. At that point, you're probably done. Uh, it's probably, probably going to be a, a conversion at that point. There's really nothing he could do, right? So, you know, that's another conversion, another successful play. Give and goes. Very, 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 very good. Uh, and that's just another one. So, uh, here we go. We're up 5-1 five, five, right now. Um, he's skating in the zone. A hit there by Dowdy. And we're off and running. So, Dowdy up to Duchesne. Left boards right now. I'm going to do the... Pull up, wait, Carlson, look for the open guy. Carlson, coffee. That was a little bit of a lucky one to say the least. But you know what? Another thing I want to say, taking point shots, if you have pretty good defensemen that have decent shots, not the worst thing, guys. Not the worst thing. So it's a little bit of a lucky one. I got tipped and then he put it in his own net. But it does work. It does work. I promise, because I really do promise it does work. Uh, now here's an opportunity that he just didn't want to shoot, apparently. So then I get it here. And we're going to try to go up offense our own way. So Sagan right now, wide open for Lindros. I mean, I think on a 2-on-0, 2-on-1, you pass most times. I mean, it's going to go in. I mean, there's always that slight chance if you just take it for a break where you get definitely stopped. I think passing is always the right play there. All right, so here we go. I, I get it to Carlson. I find Lemieux kind of the net. I Honestly, what I really wanted to do on that play, if I'm being honest, um, was go to Lemieux, obviously, but it went all the way over to Carlson. That actually ended up helping me out because I was able to be with Carlson and have Lemieux just keep driving towards the net and Lemieux was able to just be there to really just tap in there at the end. So that was kind of a lucky play there for me, but, you know, it, you know, I, I kind of got unlucky at first, right? So it all worked out in the end. So that was that play. Um, here we go. So off the draw, we're up 9-4 to four right now. We skate in the zone. We look for the open man, Kobitar. Kobitar, wait for Duchesne. And he's there to put it home for a 10th goal of the game. Again, this is D1 arrivals. Keep that in mind. Oh, sorry. This is actually our champs. I'm going to get back. But, um, again, we find Kobitar. And at this point, I just know that I could technically go back in because, well, his goal would have probably been over to make the save. But at that point, there's really not many other options. He switched over to that guy, which is nobody gets this intercept. Only the only chance for this guy is to get a block, but he didn't get the block, and that's just in the back of the net. So, I mean, kind of unlucky, but, you know, it, it's it's a, also a good quick pass play. So here's LaFleur now. I try to make a little move there, and I do, uh, but it didn't really do much. Carlson gets poked off. Uh, he has lining right here. I, I got another, a great poke there. Just don't give up on the play, guys. Do not give up on the play ever. So... As you can see, I make a little move, you know, unlucky there. All right, I lose the puck again. So at this point, he's like, all right, I'm out of the zone. All right. But what he needed to do here, guys, he needed to quickly pass it to, to this play right here because I'm pressuring him with Lemieux. So I make that quick 
Uh, switch to Lemieux. Quick poke. My man hauls off the bench. All right, to Lemieux. Lemieux waits to haul. Side of the net. Perfect cut play. That works a lot as well, guys. Cut plays are very, 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 very good. Look for your guys streaking towards the net. Um, and really, it's easy at that point. So, I have Lemieux at the top here. He switched on coffee. Well, because he's really aggressive with his defenseman right now. He switched on to coffee. Very aggressive play. Very aggressive play. Uh, so, he's all the way up with his defenseman, leaving uh, definitely a hole down here. And it's an easy pass to Hall. Just hold backhand. Easy goal. Easy, easy, easy goal right there. Uh, that's because he switched to his defenseman coffee. It's really an unnecessary play. Um, but he just did it. And there's really nothing, uh, nothing else you could say. So, uh, here's again Lindholm. It turns it over. Uh, up to Sagan right here for Dowdy. Gonna gain the zone here. Try to skate towards in. Try to get in. Gretzky for Dowdy. Side of it for looking for Hall for a one time that gets blocked. But we're sticking with it though. We're still sticking with it. Coffee. I'm looking down low for Gretzky. Gretzky for Hall. Hall down low for Sagan. Sagan reverse it to Gretzky. Easy, easy goal for our 12th goal of the game. Uh, so basically, what I saw on this guys. I recognize that I had a man wide open down low, right? Why would I go down low? There's literally no one, no one there, all right, at this point. And then I recognize Sagan behind the net, my strategy. He's going to recognize that Sagan is going to go below as well. So at that point, he's chasing me with Carlson. His AI is over there. His AI is going to chase me down low with Sagan. So once I pick it up, by the time I pick it up with Sagan, he's right now he's switched on to this guy still, okay? So at that point, then he switches on to Dion last second. So now this guy is caught out of position. And then Gretz is going to be able to cut to the net and beat his AI defender to it. And then easy pass in front. It could have got blocked, yeah, but it was still a right play. Still a good play. It, it really confused this guy, and his AI confused as well. Which is really a big part of 1v1 and hot is conf and confusing the AI because, I mean, the AI is a big part of the game, right? So, all right, here we go again. Face off. I win it straight back to Burns. Burns waits. I try to force it to Lemieux there. Not really a force, but looking for open men here. And uh, we're just trying to look for that right play. And like, right now, he's not giving me anything. Skill zoning, which is pretty hard. But that's an, an, a really good thing right there to watch. Uh, so basically, what I did here is I recognized that, okay, I mean, he's, he's not giving me the middle. So I have an open man right here. Give and go is a very important. Matthews, and he's just down for some reason. I don't know what he's doing. But give and goes are important. Matthews, quick back to Burns. His goalie is really leaning, as you can see. Uh, his goalie is leaning. Let me see if I can give a, a, a better look at this again. Um, let, let, let's see. As soon as it the pass... His goalie really bit for the one-timer right here. Like, like, yeah, he really committed. And at that point, it was too late. He, he was like, he was a butterfly, the goalie. I believe it was Brodor. He said it was butterfly, and that really cost him right there. So, yeah, that's what I would say on that. I mean, given goals are very, very, very useful. Um, and that one was a very good one as well. So, towards the end here now of uh, these gameplay clips. Again, I hope this has really helped you guys. I really, really do. So, we skip the middle here. And I have a wide open man. And again... That one is another one people are like, how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? Okay. So, let's just talk. So, I skate in the zone here with Kobitar. All right? I backskate right here. Backskate, backskate, backskate. And then I just back... I hold the backhand pass and, and wide open uh, for Duchesne because he's stick lifting. I don't know what this guy was doing. Uh, but, yeah, that, that works a lot, guys. That works a lot. A lot of people do that. It's one of the better ways to score, actually, is uh, doing that backskating. It really, really is. So... Um, yeah, it's something to definitely pay attention to. It's hard to defend. Very hard to defend. I have trouble defending it as well. So, he's something by Lindros here. 26 seconds ago here. He gets a breakaway for Settler here. And he's going to do a Datsu flip. That won't go. I get a little lucky here. We're going to keep the play moving here. Uh, and here comes Burns. Up to McDavid. Poked away though. Lindros. CPQ with Aginla. Aginla right now. I have a man breaking McDavid. Aginla across to Lindros. Just force it across. We got our 15th goal of the game. And again, offense, it just simply comes to me naturally. It really, really does, guys. So, that was pretty much it for the gameplay part of this. I'm going to go over to my strategies now and kind of just show you that before this video wraps up. But I really, 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 really hope this helps you guys out. I really, really do. I hope these gameplay videos help you out. That's my. That's really what I want. I just want you guys to improve. And I hope you guys can take something from this video. I know probably not the best at explaining things. I'm just doing my best. I just want to pass on my knowledge I have of the game because I played a lot. I know you guys are just trying to get, you know, average of the game. And I'm, I'm definitely above average. I'm, I'm a D1 player. I mean, everybody's D1. I mean, it's, there's 10 divisions, right? So... Um, this is my four check. It's one two two aggressive, one two two red. Uh, trap slash four checks about in the middle right here. Aggressive, protect the net, collapsing, diamond overload, PP carry on zero, strong side slant, single swing, close support, passive. My offensive lines are all exactly the same behind the net. All these bars are exactly the same. Um, I don't change them at all. 
Uh, one thing I'm going to note as well, here's my defensive pangs. These are all exactly the same as well. This is about in the middle, the psycho slash shoot. One thing I will, I will mention though, is that sometimes during a game, if I'm not getting enough scoring chances, what I like to do is, is turn the four check all the way up, go like full attack, like right here, full attack. Defensive pressure even also on high pressure. Uh, I think it could be very beneficial, but also it could really make you horrible defense, which is, it does. I mean, you have to be locked down on defense because you're going to have your defense being, being kind of caught up on the ice. Which is, you know, it can be challenging. Don't get me wrong, it can be very, very challenging, okay? So, that was a long video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was beneficial to you. Those are my best offensive tips for now. What video would you, would you like to see next? If you made it all the way to the end of the video, please let me know. That really means a lot to me. You guys don't know. When you guys say I watched the whole video, that means a lot. That means you really are paying attention and trying to learn. That really is what I want. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, I appreciate it. Leave a like. Subscribe. If you're new to the channel here, we're getting close uh, to 18,000 subs. Maybe we'll hit that. In the next few months, that'd be really nice. But I appreciate you guys so much for watching, as always. I hope these videos have been really helping. So, follow me on Twitch. Henry, that, those gameplay, that game plays live every single day if you want to watch. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique with three E's. And join my Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. As always, I appreciate you guys so much. Use code Henrique for G Fuel products uh, and, and for your 10% discount. I appreciate you all so much. And we're going to be back tomorrow. And I'll see you all in the next video.